You may be feeling overwhelmed right now and feeling like you're just dead in the water and saying things like, it's over, I'm done. You feel dead just giving up hope about your finances, your future, your health, your marriage, your relationships, your children, feeling discouraged and dead about your dreams and having new life, new love and new joy. Maybe it's your promotion or your business, your ministry, your plans, and your prayers. You're not dead. You're asleep. You're exhausted, feeling oppressed and maybe depressed. You're asleep. You're tired of dealing with stuff, so you sleep. You're tired of the problems. You're tired of feeling stuck. You're not dead. Maybe you're focusing on your regrets, shame, and guilt. You're frustrated, so you sleep. You're tired of people disappointing you. You're tired of losing stuff and losing people. You've been asleep, tired of all the uncertainty and disruption from this pandemic. You've been asleep and the virus of stress, tension, frustration, fear, and doubt have attacked your body, your mind, and your spirit. You're not dead. You're asleep to God's supernatural power that's in you. You're asleep and not able to see your strength and opportunities and possibilities. Wake up. You're not dead. Wake up. Wake up. God is up to something. Wake up. Get up. Just like the 12-year-old girl in the book of Mark, whose frantic father thought she was dead and begged Jesus to come, come, Jesus. And Jesus said when he arrived, get up, little girl. And she got up. She wasn't dead. And just as Andre Day sings that wonderful song, rise up, I will rise up. I say to you, get up and rise up. God is up to something in your life and you don't want to miss it. And I know you may feel lonely, forgotten, misunderstood, perplexed, tired, defeated, angry, confused, and exhausted. Just don't lose hope. You're human. And we're all living in some interesting and challenging times. But you know, you've got more life to live. You've got more strength than you realize. You are resilient and you have more days of hope, love, and joy ahead that are waiting for you. God is up to something. Don't miss your breakthrough because you've had breakdowns in the past. You are human. You are worthy. You are still breathing. So take some deep breaths right now and inhale a new level of peace and strength. Let the enemy to your soul and peace say, darn, she's up again. Darn, he's up again. I want to suggest that you get up and be encouraged by reading Romans chapter 15, verse 4. It says, for whatever was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement of the scriptures that you might have hope. When I think of Job and David and Paul and Naomi and Jeremiah, these figures remind me that we will suffer at times. We will be hurt. We will have struggles. And I pray the Lord will settle, establish, and strengthen you through any suffering that you're going through. Get up, get up, get up. You're not dead. You are simply asleep. Have hope. This is Jewel Diamond Taylor. Stay in the light.